the question is what was the British reaction to the Tea Party and then also what was the broader European uh, reaction to the Tea Party? Uh, the, the answer is in London, they are outraged at what's happened, right? This seems just, just like such a slap in the face uh, that, the American, that the Bostonians have dealt them that they are forced to respond. And the way Parliament does respond is with the coercive acts. They shut the port of Boston and say, the town of Boston, we're holding you responsible. And until you repay the East India Company for its losses, we're, not, we're closing you. You're, you're closed for business, essentially, which is going to throw everyone out of work and cause Bostonians to solve. And then there are a no, number of other acts, uh, they try to, the Massachusetts Government Act and the Administration of Justice Act. Um, so Br Parliament comes down on Boston and Massachusetts very hard for this. Um, uh, Benjamin Franklin has the bad luck to appear before the cockpit just as the news has arrived to answer for a, a, a set of charges about something completely different. And because Franklin is the agent for Massachusetts in London, um, he, Alexander Wedderburn, the Solicitor General, just like lashes into Franklin and uh, he's, the implication is that he's partly to blame for uh, the Boston Tea Party and he's so embarrassed he's stripped of his uh, post as Deputy Postmaster General and, um, and a number of months Months later, Franklin then uh, has to flee back to uh, America when he'd been living in London for the better part of the previous 12, uh, 12 years, actually. Um, so the reaction in, in Britain is, is mostly very much condemns the Americans. There are some kind of pro-American guys like Richard Price who say, oh, it was just a bunch of bad seeds. That's not really what the Americans are about. But for the most part, uh, the British, uh, British people are pretty angry. Europeans at first, uh, I don't know a lot about their reaction, but they are very fascinated. There are some prints that appear during the war uh, in Germany and in, fr in France that kind of show the whole conflict as like emerging from a teapot or, you know, and, and that show the, the, uh, this event. And they're fascinated that something as small as tea can lead to this world war that lasts for eight years. So the Europeans find the whole thing kind of quizzical um, and obviously some of them get involved very seriously. Uh, you know, France uses it as, a, as an opportunity to, to score points in its, uh, its 100 year war against, uh, against the British Empire. So um, yeah, they're, you know, they, they pay attention, they hear the news. Um, so it's, it's an interesting question. Uh, there's a gentleman over there that I want, yeah. 